Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Microsoft Teams with ServiceNow. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at microsoftteams.live.com or um, just sign in to your existing account. Once we are here at uh, our workspace at uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, you can see that there's no way you can integrate straight through Microsoft Teams with, uh, with the app that uh, you actually need to integrate it, uh, integrate it with. So we are about to use uh, another app. Uh, let's go to automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, we want to go uh, straight to integration on top corner. Once we click there, we want to go to the bottom left part of this pop-up window and see all categories. Uh, in this uh, search engine or search window, we want to start uh, looking for Microsoft Teams. So let's write it down Teams and pick the Microsoft Teams. Now we have to pick the counterpart, which is ServiceNow. Like this. Once we pick both of the apps, uh, we want to uh, we want to continue, and uh, you can pick with, uh, from popular integrations. But if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down, and you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to go with uh, Microsoft Teams. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go with the service now. So let's go with the first one, for example, but it doesn't matter, you could pick uh, anything you like. Uh, now you just have to click on try it now button, you will get redirected and asked to log into the automate.eo account. We can also use uh, Zapier or zapier.com. We also need to create an account here. And uh, once we do that, let's go to the top left corner and click on make a zap. In this window, uh, we can name our zap like teams to service now for future research or if you want to uh, get back to this integration. And uh, it works basically the same way like it worked at automate. App event will start with Microsoft Teams, like this. We have to trigger an event. There's uh, more than one, as you can see. So let's pick like new chat. We hit continue. And now we have to just to sign in to Microsoft Teams. On the second action, uh, we want to go with app event, which will uh, end in uh, service now. As you can see it's here uh, we choose an event there's only two so one less than at uh, automate let's go with the first one we hit continue and the last thing is we have to just sign in with your service now account so once you do that you are a couple of clicks away from finishing this integration so that's about it thanks for watching and see you on the next video